Hello. Yesterday I completely smashed a USB keyboard to pieces. It's not this one. Not this one. It's in the garbage. Oh wait, this is what remains of the keyboard. Ah. Oh, another key. <laughs> I completely smashed it. <clears throat> This proves it's not this keyboard. I smashed the shit out of it. It was a twelve dollar keyboard. Twelve dollar keyboard. There you go. I could prove it to you. I won't prove it to you. You'll have to take my word for it. The keyboard blocked. The keyboard blocked doing a world of warships. I couldn't chat. It's been doing it for months. It was a 12, 12 euro keyboard. It pisses me off. And now I'm back to PS2. My battery is almost dead. PS2 connection. There you go. And this old USB keyboard, also Logitech. This is not a Logitech actually. It taps a little bit better, but okay. Here is my time slice visualizer. Let's prove it. Let's see what happens if I hold the key key and text pad. Okay. There is a little bit of time slices going on. There's a little bit of black lines, just a little bit. Black lines means this could be the programming is not getting the full time. Now let's happen. Let's see what happens if I do the same on a USB keyboard. Okay, there you go. You start noticing these bigger lines here and there. If you look closely, you can see the lines. I'm probably going to update this computer program sometime. Let's go back to PS2 keyboard. Okay, see the line there. And it's not as severe. There are no long black lines, just intermediate lines. Let's go back to the USB keyboard. Yep. These longer lines proves at least to me that the USB drivers and this is a pretty good driver but the other one was horrible <coughs> I should have tested it before I smashed it to pieces it's completely smashed it proves that USB drivers are slower I'm going to look at the smashed up keyboard I can show you everything This horrible piece of shit. Jingle. Garbage. The Logitech K120 total garbage keyboard. I'm glad I smashed it to pieces. The shift key is super tiny. I ended up typing a lot of question marks, you know, like hello, and then if, if I wanted to type caps lock, it would be go, it would it would do like hello, you know, because I would accidentally. Hey, come on, focus. <sighs> hey. 
de Deus. Ah, um pequeno sim. Fuck. Yeah. It would go like that. Constantly. If I hold the shift key. Because it's so tiny. And it's just a couple of millimeters off, you know. Hello. There. And then it would go like this. And then it's fucking annoying. So I smashed the shit out of it. It also blocked. Doing high CPU usage. When you're gaming. The CPU is heavily taxed. And the driver needs to be efficient, otherwise you can't even chat. You know, the CPU, like the game is rendering, it's doing OpenGL calls like crazy. It's doing effects, calculations, whatever. <clears throat> and this thing types like a dream. Less input lag. This old keyboard has much better drivers. I still have to test it, because... I've tested a little bit, but Windows installed an, a new PS2, PS2 uh, keyboard uh, driver. Uh, to install. But I think it's good. And this driver consumes much less CPU resources. I'm pretty sure because all technology is optimized. And I can even prove it a little bit here. Let's do that over here with the USB keyboard. Now remember this keyboard, see that? Black lines, if I stop even more, look at that. Look at how much CPU these USB drivers are using. Look at all those black lines. That's horrible. Imagine the game completely consuming the CPU. This will completely stall the keyboard. Let's go back to the PS2 keyboard. See that? Much less black lines, there you go. Let's go back to the USB keyboard. See that? To all gamers out there, if you have an old system with a PS2 connection, use the PS2 connection. Buy a good or use a good old PS2 keyboard. And you will have less, less, uh, much less input lag during gaming. Okay? I always hated USB. And this is another reason why I hate USB keyboards this is a CPU issue mostly I could try and connect it to PS to USB 3.0 let's do that I have a PCE Express controller in the back I don't think it's gonna matter I already installed or at least I already installed the driver for that let's see if it matters nope maybe it's even worse because now it's going to the PCE Express go big fat black lines this is rendering time every pixel is like one millisecond or no yeah, one microsecond or something you know. this is the P this is the PS2 PS slash 2 USB keyboard 3.0 connection it's probably 2.0 device Let's go back to page two. Much less. And I'm back to the page two. Yeah. Anyway, I'm convinced. Actually, it's a little bit less now that it's on USB two, uh, USB three point zero. But it's still there. Yeah. Let's go back to USB 2.0. Let's not go about the last remark. <coughs> Black Lands. Black Lands, yo. So I'm very happy with this old keyboard for now. It's good for worshipping. I'm gonna show you one last thing. Do 
do not buy it. This thing. Don't buy it. You know why? I'm gonna show you right there. See that little shift key? See that it has one little extra key? It's horrible. Let's see if I can get a big, 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 big picture before my battery runs out. This is not. This is not. Uh, <laughs> this is. This picture is not true. There is an extra key there, which makes the shift key very tiny. See that? So, what you just saw is a lie. This picture is a lie. This picture is a lie. That is not the real keyboard. This is the real keyboard. Ball.com does have the real picture, hopefully. This is how the keyboard actually looks like. See the tiny little shift key? That is horrible. Look at the big shift key. Look at that. And there is a ZX. ZX right next to the shift key. This stupid fucking thing has a slash. It's super fucking annoying. Let me show you something else. The enter key is also fucked. Look at that. It still has a slash somewhere, I think. Actually, it's slash is gone. I mean, this is why Logic, Logitech is crap. This is why it's crap. They they change the layout. It's super annoying when you use to type like this. I'm not even sure if this picture is 100% truthful because I thought there was a slash key there. Look, it is a slightly different layout. I dropped sugar on this old keyboard once. <laughs> See that? Why is there an... an, an oh my god. So horrible this keyboard don't buy it don't it also blocks the driver is complete horse shit these people are recommending it these are grannies this keyboard is only suited for grannies this is not suited for programmers you will hate that shift key if you want to sprint during first person shooters and you're used to holding the shift key you will hate this keyboard you will hate it hate 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 Believe me, World of Warship gamers will hate this keyboard. It blocks doing chatting. I can I can type four letters, send, not center. If I want to sit down somebody, go to the center or ram that radar cruiser at the center. I can't even type it. This thing completely blocks. Oh. And what's worse is, in the media shop, in the macro media shop, media mart, in the media mart shop, they have two different keyboard sections. Three actually. They have one for gamers. Then they have these crappy keyboards somewhere in some, some department. And then they have another third section with actually more or less business uh, keyboards. But there were, there were a couple that were probably much better than this one. I didn't know they had a special section for these kinds of old keyboards, you know. And there are probably better ones. This one. Don't buy it. Let's see. These, look at the price. Don't waste 16 euros on this keyboard. Don't buy, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy. I smashed it, you saw it, it's in the wastebasket. Don't buy it. I thought I would only use it temporarily. I still have two months to go before I buy Thread Ripper. Before I buy Thread Ripper, I just couldn't stand it anymore. I had to smash it to pieces. I had to. Now I can finally game on the keyboard that is less blocking. Okay. Oh, please. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna buy a Logitech anymore. There it is. Uh, horrible. Logitech, you are a disgrace. You should be ashamed of this keyboard. It's that bad. The driver is shit. And the layout is total shit. Even the shift key is just a couple of millimeters shorter. Or not. Maybe. Look. Maybe, not sure, possibly. It looks familiar, but hmm. even if it's just, nah, it's, it's, okay. Every millimeter counts for keyboarding, you know, at least this is shit, super shit. And the bad driver. Okay, enough, <clears throat> I've advised you, if you have one of these, smash it to pieces, <laughs> throw it in a wastebasket. It's a horrible piece of junk, goodbye.